you kidding me? You are looking live. Winning cures everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. What up, what up, what up? College football rankings, top 10, and our college football playoff predictions for week number 11, or after week number 11. This is after Alabama LSU, after Minnesota Penn State, et cetera, et cetera. The show brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. they got six wonderful sports books. You can find them over at tunicatravel.com. You can find us over at winningcureseverything.com. Of course, all of our picks, previews, podcasts, videos, social media platforms, etc. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave us some comments. Tell us what your top 10 is. Who deserves to be in that we don't have in? Who deserves to be left out that we've got in there? Uh, all of these wonderful things. Tell us what you're thinking. We, uh, we appreciate that. Of course, if you're listening on the podcast, if you're on Apple Podcasts especially, leave a review. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a five-star review. We, uh, we always appreciate you guys doing that. We've gotten some really good ones here lately, and, uh, and we could not thank you enough for doing it. So, Chris, I'm going to let you jump in with yours first. Let's go from 10 to... Uh, to or actually, should we just do one on the way down? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I, I, I just go. Listen, yeah, go I ahead. do strictly by resume, okay, guys? All, all you guys coming at me, Clemson fans, because too low, all this stuff, you're going to get into the playoffs. Get over it. It's fine. Don't be so, don't be so thin-skinned about this, but this is about who have you beaten, do you have big wins? I judge big wins first. Second criteria, worse losses. Big wins matter more than worse losses, and that's how we go. So, I'll start with number one. Number one is the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. It's LSU. We've got four massive wins, okay? Two of them on the road, two of them at home. Nobody in the country has two massive wins. We've got four. Yeah. We've, we've doubled up everybody else in the country on massive wins. Right? I, don't, I don't know many people even have two. I'm just guessing somebody's got to have two out there. Maybe they don't. <laughs> maybe and maybe so not. Ohio State, they are the by, one. By us, Chris means LSU. <laughs> oh, there's no question who I mean. Everybody <laughs> knows who I mean. Uh, number, number two, I've got Ohio State. Ohio State beating the hell out of everybody, and they've got a big win against Wisconsin. I think Wisconsin is a pretty good team still, and, and I think that was a big win. That's their one big win. That's why they deserve to be here. It's not because they beat the hell out of a bunch of no names, all right? They've done that but they also showed up against the big team. Number three, I've got Minnesota. And, and, and you can say it's an overreaction after one week, but there's no one else in the country that is undefeated that has a win as big as Penn State. They're just not. All right? You got two other undefeated teams, Baylor and Clemson, and they're right behind these guys strictly because they don't have a win as big as uh, uh, Minnesota, as big as they do against Penn State. So that's, that's just the only reason why they're there. Baylor, number four, same thing. They, they are undefeated. They are close. They're not killing people. I don't care who would win if they played right now or who would be favored if they played right now. I see what I see on TV, what I'm watching on these games. And they are winning all of these games. They're undefeated. TCU would be the best team that Clemson has played all year. I think TCU is better than A&M. Uh, Iowa State would be the best team Clemson has played all year. Like, like, and there's no – I don't think there's much argument to that. I think Ohio, uh, Oklahoma State would be the best team. I think all of those teams are better than A&M. My opinion, maybe I'm wrong. And then number five, we've got Clemson because they have been killing everybody and they are still undefeated. Then we're getting to the one-loss guys. I got Georgia. They've got two big wins, a big win over Florida, and they've got a big win over Notre Dame. They've got the worst loss out of all of the one-loss teams, but they do have the best wins. They've got that's the other team that's got two big wins. I don't think anybody else in the country has two. Um, behind them, I've got Penn State. Penn State's got a big win against Minnesota, uh, Michigan, and they've got one loss, and it was to an undefeated Minnesota at home or, or on the road at Minnesota. Crazy environment, and and I don't think that I got them falling far. Um, I got them right here. Number three, I've got Bama. Bama doesn't have any great wins at all. At Bama, number, wait, at number what? I'm oh, sorry. I'm three from the bottom. Eight. So now okay. I'm, wrong. I'm looking at this wrong. <laughs> so I've got, I've got Bama number eight. They've got one loss. It's to the best team in the country. 
and they don't have any wins, but they they looked great, so they still belong in the top ten. Yeah, they just. I've got Oregon nine. Oregon has a has a some good wins. They have the best loss, uh, and then behind them, number ten, I've got Florida still. Florida's has a good win over Auburn, and then they've got two losses: the cocktail party against Georgia, who I have at six, and the number one team in the country on the road in a game day environment at LSU. Those are the two best losses anybody in the country could have. With two losses, I think they belong still in the top ten. Okay, that uh, that totally makes sense. So yours is uh, is resume based. Uh, mine is based. mine is different, and that is because I've got I test and resume and whatever else built in. It mine is who do I think is the better team that would win this weekend? Right, so. I know that this is it, it, not all of that makes sense because not all of it is totally right. But uh, number one, I've got LSU, of course. All the reasons that Chris said, LSU is the best team in the country, period. There are no flaws with that offense whatsoever. The defense shows up when they need to, and man, they just they, they absolutely went into Alabama and put Alabama in really high-pressure situations, and they folded for the majority of, of the – well, not the majority – but they folded for the points that mattered, right? When the game was uh, in doubt, that's when they made mistakes. LSU capitalized on that, and LSU has done this all year long. Number two, I've got Ohio State. Ohio State destroyed everybody. I think those are simple. Number three, I've got Clemson. Now, understand the resume part of this. There's nobody on their resume or on their schedule going forward even that they will be able to beat that will tell you that they are a great team. But make no mistake about it. This is a great team. Uh, I, I've got them at three. Number four, I've got Georgia. I still, with Lawrence Cager back, no, they didn't look great last night. They didn't have to. That was a sandwich spot. We talked about that last week. If you're just looking at last, at, at last night, no, Georgia would not be a top four team. But after coming off a big win over Florida and you're going to Auburn next week, you got Missouri right square in the middle. A 27 nothing win is still a dominant win, even if the offense didn't look fantastic. The offense hadn't looked fantastic all year. They haven't had to, right? The South Carolina game, chalk that up to college football happens sometimes, right? So, Georgia, I've got four. Number five, I've got Minnesota. I, I agree with what Chris is saying here. They are dominating people, and then they go out and get that big win at home against Penn State. Penn State was number four in the committee's playoff rankings last week. I thought Penn State was a really good football team. And yes, Penn State made plays. They put up yards, all kind of stuff. They had a chance to win the ball game. Minnesota put their chest out and held firm when they needed to. That is massive. Now, Minnesota's obviously got chances down the line to lose games, but that was the best team remaining on their schedule, and they handled them at home, and that was impressive. So Minnesota at five. I've got Alabama at six. Alabama's only loss is to the the best team in the country, in my opinion, at home by five, and they made mistakes over and over and over again. Tua looked healthy, looked fine to me, but if you want to come up with an excuse... That's going to be your only excuse, right? Tua didn't look great because uh, he's coming off an injury. Whatever. Um, number seven, I've got Baylor. I'm skeptical of Baylor. There's been so many close games, but when you've been in so many close games over and over and over again and you learn how to win them, that's going to pay dividends going forward because I think that they will be in a close game with Oklahoma, close game with Texas, and when you've got that experience in those high-pressure situations, that'll help you out. So I've got Baylor at seven. Number eight, I've got Oregon. I think Oregon, really good one-loss team behind Georgia and Alabama. I do think both of those teams would beat uh, Oregon right now. But Oregon's defense is legit. They've got a NFL quarterback. They've got speed all over the field. Oregon is, for the most part, an SEC team playing in the Pac-12, for the most part. Number nine, I got Penn State. And then at 10, I've got Utah. Utah with one loss. They have been dominant. Uh, you could put Auburn here, you could put Florida here, you could put whatever, uh, but I, I think Utah is the most deserving right now based on eye test, based on they've only got that one loss. It was a fluky Friday night, Pac-12, anything can happen kind of game. I think Utah is a 10 
Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.